Imagine you went fishing hoping for a big catch. You feel a tug on the line, and as you reel in the fish, you realize that it's caught in the mouth of a dinosaur. That's what happened when astronomers tried to find the first stars in the universe and unexpectedly discovered also dark matter. Dark matter is the key to unlocking the mystery of what the universe is made of. We know quite a bit about the chemical elements that make up the Earth, the Sun and the other stars, but most of the matter in the universe is invisible and thus known as dark matter. The existence of dark matter is inferred from its strong gravity, but we have no idea what kind of substance it is. Hence, dark matter remains one of the greatest mysteries in physics. To solve it, we must travel back in time. Astronomers can see back in time since it takes light time to reach us. We see the Sun as it was eight minutes ago, while the immensely distant first stars in the universe appear to us on Earth as they were billions of years in the past. Signals from the first stars are predicted to arrive on Earth in the form of radio waves. These waves have now been observed for the first time by astronomers who built a novel radio telescope called EDGES. The measured signal was surprisingly much stronger than expected. To understand what they saw, they approached Professor Renan Barkana from Tel Aviv University. I realized that this surprising signal indicates the presence of two actors, first stars and dark matter. The first stars in the universe turned on the radio signal, while the dark matter collided with the ordinary matter and cooled it down. Extra cold material naturally explains the strong radio signal. This discovery is the first direct proof that dark matter does exist, and there's nothing funny going on with gravity. In other words, Einstein was right when he figured out gravity a hundred years ago. Beyond this, the discovery also shows that dark matter is made up of particles. Physicists expected that any such particles would be heavy, but the discovery indicates low-mass particles instead. Thus, this discovery will reorient the search for dark matter. Professor Barkana predicts that the dark matter produced a very specific pattern of radio waves that can be detected with large arrays of radio antennas. One such array is the SKA, the largest radio telescope in the world now under construction. Such an observation with the SKA will confirm that the first stars have indeed revealed the dark matter.